Alright, hello everyone, and this is Miguel Knife 398 But before we're gonna start making this video, I just want to say thank you very much for the support that I have for this year. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, on December 12, 29, on December 27, 2019, I've finally reached uh, my goal on Game Banana. I become I'm being awarded as top contributor of 2019. As I'm literally in the tenth mark in the top ten on uh, the top 127 modders, uh, with 13 featured mods. Thank you very much, everyone. Without, without you, I wouldn't be here. Without uh, making mods. Thank you very much. Now, without further ado, let's continue the video. So for today's video, you've seen I've done Mario 64 mod Dell import, and you know what I'm trying to do. We're gonna do a model import video. Oh boy! And this time, I actually uh, experiment did it, but I can't believe it actually worked. So, <clears throat> not only on Studio SB, but also on my Nintendo Switch. So you can actually have expressions as long as you name some of the meshes. The like, let's say you get a pair of the meshes, so that the visibility animation will appear at the same time. Now, if you don't know what I'm trying to t uh, talk about, I'll dis I'll disable this cap hair texture. This is l basically the yeah this one. So on this certain frame, it'll switch to the Mario No Hat Viso OBJ uh, shape, which is the normal Mario hair. So play it in 60 FPS. There it goes. So it's really that nice, all right. Now I don't. I honestly trying to have Mario look like this, but then I say, nah, that looks bad. <laughs> that looks bad for Mario head, uh, for Mario hair. So without further ado, here are the requirements. First, you need Studio Smash Brothers or Studio SB. Second, you need the Python. Uh, you need the 3ds Max, Autodesk 3ds Max, and third, you need this script. So that you can import uh, numdlb files. Fourth, you need Switch Toolbox to import export files. And fifth, you need CrossArc. So I already explained a video yesterday. I already made a video talking about um, the difference between shared uh, shared files or one slot files. So if you haven't watched it, you can check it right there in the icon box. And let's get started, shall we? So first, you open 3ds Max. Which I already opened it, but first I have to. <laughs> so here we are, 3ds Max. Then you have to drag and drop this Max script file. Import num DLB, yes. <clears throat> and then locate where you can get your Mario dump. So here, model num DLB is gonna take me. A, uh, it's gonna take a while to load it. Just wait. Alright, so what do you know? It's already done. So here we are. Here's our Mario model. Now, I have to set the order as sort of descending age. Select the trans, rotate it to 90. So now here we are. Here's our standing pose Mario. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna. I'm gonna try re import Mario 64 Mario, alright? Because I have no other way to do this. But don't try to copy what I do, alright? Because I already done Mario 64 Mario, alright? Don't touch it. So. No, I shouldn't just. Ah, yeah. Oops. You know what? I, I'll just import the OBJ file if I can. You know what? Screw it. I'll just use no assist. I'm too lazy, alright? Right, so now we're done. Now you may notice that the vertex is actually bad. Don't mind. I don't. I'll ignore it. So now we have my 64 model. I'll just rename it so that I'll be simpler. Uh, body. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move this a little bit 20 in the exposition so that I could have space. 
Now you notice that there are a lot of models and also even though it's in Nintendo Switch there are a lot of textures <coughs> because this is from a different game. Now however Mario now how I did it I only used death. Mario only has one I mean no they only has three one slot textures. So the eyes, the hair, the the skin they're all shared with other Mario alts. So what you can change is actually the depth textures, which is this one. So I already made a texture of it, but I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna teach you how to do texturing stuff because you're on your own actually. So assuming that you that you know, uh, let's say we already have our texture, all right. So I'll just put in some textures so you visualize what is what. Also realizing that the textures is upside down. Oops, my bad. So anyways, assuming that you already have your texture, you already have it modeled. Also, I'm just gonna name this. Uh, if you want to have expressions, uh, let's say you want to have Mario um, no hat texture, you could just do this. Copy the Smash Ultimate Mario texture right there, and then here you have it. Now, if you want to have it, um, have it as hat texture. You could just copy the name uh, like this, and then you have yourself a hat texture. Simple. Now, don't worry about um, mesh orders because you can clearly, you know, change the mesh orders by having model num DLB. But however, if there are some um, characters that have shared model num DLB. So all you have to do, you have to copy what's in the original. So let's say uh, if Mario have a shared num DLB, then you have to get at least 62 mesh uh, for Mario. <laughs> so yeah, it's really tiresome, but that's pretty much how it works. So anyways, uh, let's. <clears throat> I'll just ignore most of it because they can all set as default more or less. So let's set this up back to the zero position. Here we are. And I also want to adjust the model itself so I could actually bend. <clears throat> so hold on. Uh, this is actually qu really quick and easy. Now this is not easy if, if you're gonna use a OBJ file. So just a quick disclaimer, never ever use OBJ uh, models when you're going to model import something because you're gonna end up manually selecting all of these uh, polygons, all of these tries. This is really, really tiring. I've been there, I've experienced this on the Smash 3DS and it's painful for me to do so. <laughs> Now let's double check if it's not all right. Okay, so let's set the Y coordinate to ten. <coughs> now it's above head. Now I, well, what I want to do is just like the verts right over there. Uh, lower it to ten back, and then slowly move the X co uh, X position. Uh, nope, that's too much. Uh, let's say. 0.3 maybe but it's not centered uh, okay 0.25 there we go this looks fine and then do this again on the other side set this lower and then point uh, 2.25 uh, shoo, shoo, shoo. there we are we got ourselves the um, thing <laughs> the thing that we want also for the sake of it I think I have to um, smoothen the vertex of it so that it won't be annoying to be exact uh, okay hold on I could do this uh, show you nope no nope. um, there you go it's now smooth now I know this is not actually the best of the best all right 
First off, it's OBJ. I hate OBJs. When I second, I don't want to redo the entire thing over again. This is now at least the seventh attempt on making this video. <laughs> it hurts so bad, all right? It hurts so much. So if you want, if you want to have expressions for Mario, you can just select this, rename it to whatever expression that Mario have, and then right click and click clone, and click copy, and done. You got yourself another duplicate. So if that is if you want to have facial expression or at least an eye expression for Mario. That that depends on you if you want to or not. Alright? I don't judge you. So now here we are, here's the Mario's texture. I did not select the uh, the hat because come on, it's the hat. Now what we're gonna do, we go to modifier, we look for skin select it of course i select some of them by the way so that will be easier for me to select it transcend uh, trans rotation and legacy leg leg da, da, da. that depends if you want to have it like this or that i can't i can't judge you and here we are we're done now the next thing we're gonna do, uh, by the way, we have to, uh, for me personally, all I did is to clear the mesh, uh, clear the, uh, clear the rigging by just do this and then re-add the same bone. And now there are no bones to be added for this model now. Hooray. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna one by one um, rig the entire thing. Although this is gonna take at least a long time, and if as the look of this video is already 20 minutes long, so yeah, here it goes because this is gonna take a long time for me to rig the entire thing. Now, since this is an N64 model, it's really easy to mod them. All you have to do is just select, uh, select some of the polygons, and then you rig them, and bada bing bada boom, you got them. It's not, it's not that hard right so I want to start bringing the legs and the uh, uh, the legs and the the, uh, the the feet so I'll just separate them by 10 uh, separate them by 10 and then I'll go on skin modifier and then start rigging them also I have to uh, check the vertices so that I could uh, select the vertex the vertex of this um, model so this is left foot so we're gonna start bringing the entire left foot we don't need toes because this is a Mario 6 this is an N64 model uh, unless it's optional if the model have um, toes then this is right foot we just bring the entire right foot now left uh, okay so let's start with leg L which is right over there oops now you have to make sure you have to be careful right sometimes you're con you're rigging on the other part don't worry I'll rig the knees later on now if you're only gonna rig the legs now that's gonna be a problem because only the legs will move and then the, f the foot will just you know float around so make sure you have the knees uh, rigged too so right now I'm not rigging the knees I'm just starting rigging the legs first so that in order I'll just have the knees uh, last also I just forgot to remove zero weights oops my bad so we got the leg now let's go to knee L put this in 50% because this is in the center of the bone and then rig this at 100% now knee right we select this put this on 50% rigged it hundred percent and then we are there we have it we have ourselves the rigged leg uh, for Mario now just have to do this now if you want to test it out you all you have to do is just select the bone uh, okay wait wait, wait. Let's see if the, where's the leg there left leg all I have to do is just check if it's perfectly rigged and now you there you have it it's fully rigged now let's check the knees 
as perfect as it is but it's fine and then let's check the food this is okay so now we're done with it all we have to do is rig the other part of the body so we're done with the legs next we're gonna rig the hips and the butt I mean no the hips and no <coughs> the waist and the bust so these are this do this the same now this is the this is what they call the hip but for me I rigged it as way so that the butt can move itself right and then the bust so this is the bust you can rig the entire thing or we could just have the waist rigged at the center of it so you have to know where's the center of it and then there you have it such quick uh, like I said N64 models are really that easy to import since what they do is just barely that now if you want to ch test it in animation uh, test the movements you can just do this again select the waist this is fine because this is what I wanted alright and the bus of course there's a little bit of oomph but yeah, I don't think so <laughs> yeah, alright but it depends if you want that or not so I don't judge you like I said And we're done we're barely we're actually done with the with the arms now next thing we're gonna do we have to rig the hands but however um, this is gonna make some difficulties but you could actually have it rigged uh, into arm on this part and then have it rigged 50% right over there in the between so that it won't be you know it won't move around while at it so one two there you go 50 50 and then next thing we're gonna do is rig the next thing we're gonna do is rig the rig the uh the head isn't that right mario <laughs> nice so now we're done with the entire body uh mario body and now we're gonna rig the the hat which is trans rod hip then this one this one close neck head close select hat and then rig it to the hat which 3ds max already auto rigged it so you don't have to worry about it so now here we are here's our mario 64 model even though it's actually that messed up but like I said, if you want, if you want to edit the textures, uh, you could just go to modify your list, go to unwrap uh, UVW, then open UV editor, and then start editing the UVs. Now the UVs are those green lines, right? If I'm gonna move the UVs a little bit, you know, a little bit. Let's say this one. Okay, how about this? Wait, wait. I could just barely flip the entire thing in half. So that it won't be a problem. Flip vertically and then move a little bit up. There you go. <laughs> Here we are. Here's our Mario. And also, the, a little bit disclaimer you have to move this at the bottom of skin wrap because if you're gonna. Because if you're going to. Uh, export this with the unwrap UVW first it won't you know load up properly on studio SB so you have to make sure that skin is always at the top so assuming you got the textures on so let's say I don't you know what I'm not gonna second of all uh, 
there's this bug on Autodesk when I lower the the UVW it won't just load up the textures anymore so yeah it sucks so assuming you got it already and then you have the you know the movements properly uh, if you have the UV properly moved uh, once you're done you could just select the entire Mario um, mesh the 62 meshes of Mario delete them and then um, export now before you're gonna export it you make sure you have that uh, have things set up make sure that your uh, your unit is inches instead of centimeters your axis conversion is Y up you know what it, it doesn't matter which actual uh, axis conversion you're using but what's important is the FBX file format make sure it's in binary and its version is FBX 2014-2015 if you use 2016 or more or less than 2014 then studio SB will react and say no it won't load up properly so make sure you export properly like that and now assuming you have this problem gimbal lock exists the FBX core can explain some due to the limitation of the FBX SDK to avoid this bone by the matrices of this problematic skin this is actually none it doesn't matter sometimes it doesn't matter so assuming you got it already um, where is it so okay so let's go to file go to export oh, no 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 so let's start <laughs> sorry let's start clearing this up first the caps all right so let's go clear this up first and go to import go to model and then later on um, Actually, uh, before that, I have to set up. I have to duplicate this folder just in case so that it will be a test folder. So, this one, rotation 90. So, rotate 90. So, this is actually based on if the model is actually rotating to 90. If you're not sure if it's actually rotating 90, you can check. You can always check the trans bone if you rotate it on 90 if it's true then it's true if it's false then you could just you know type false so let's have it um, true and then it asks you for num uh, num ATL 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 and NUSKT which is the material and the skeleton of Mario so what you're gonna do you're gonna go to your folder locate your num at TD and num uh, KT uh, and US KT so let's go to model and US KTB now we got it press OK and then here we are here's our Mario model now you may notice that when you're doing a model import it's sometimes black or it's sometimes white don't be afraid don't get shocked it's black because of vertex crawlers by the way <laughs> now what you're gonna do is just press export and go to scene to files and then what you're gonna do replace model num dlb and make sure you disable and you set this false because you're not editing this bones of you're not editing mario's bones you're just editing the models which you need to export models, uh, the export mesh and model, which is num shb and num dlb. Now we're done. You can just hit OK. CTRLO. Now it asks you to discard current scene. Press OK, and then locate your model num dlb. Boom! Here we are. Here's our Mario model. Although you notice that there's some e bad stuff happening. Don't worry, don't be afraid. Why are you always afraid? God damn it. Select all and then if you have the texture, just go to Fong SFX this 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 that which set up the Mario texture. Now although this doesn't look like the one that I made because I did not edit the UV yet, you have to have uh, all of if you're gonna make a Mario 64 or any of the N64 models or textures, you gotta make sure that you need to have all of these mo uh, all of these textures all of these textures 
excluding Mario Odyssey hair and normal map and roughness uh, PRM textures so you need to have all of these textures combined into one Def Mario texture this is the original this is what this is my edit so you make sure you have this ready so now that you're done with your model import you want to make sure that it that the visibility animation works so what you're gonna do you're gonna load up your motion file and then play weight number two which plays the the idle number two animation and then if you want to see if the hat has removed go to J01 uh, appeal SR which is a side taunt now as you can see it plays the it plays uh, it plays the it you know it plays the animation and at the same time make things visible or invisible during the animation so now that you're done with model import next thing you're gonna do is test it in ultimate mod manager and then you're done so that's pretty much it for this video also I don't like how this uh, ends up so I'll just load up my own texture my own Mario 64 first off you cannot uh, release your own Mario 64 because I already made one and I'm about to release it soon as possible actually the beta version is available on my uh, my server so anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching I hope you do enjoy it don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and if you want to learn more about mod importing or if you want to know how to mod smash ultimate feel free to go to the smash ultimate modding discord it's in the description below so anyways without further ado that's all for today thank you and goodbye I also want to play this certain animation by the way.